Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Alba Mar. ¿Me pueden decir Alba? El canal se llama Seriel. Estamos aquí para hablar de libros, algunos de ellos en español, desde Puerto Rico. Hello, my name is Alba Mar. You may call me Alba. The channel name is Seriel and we're here to talk about books, some of them in Spanish from Puerto Rico, but not today, because today we're going to talk about the drama on dirt. Right off the bat, number one, you're going to read the book no matter what I say. So I'm not policing you. Of course you may read the book. Uh, I might even read the book if uh, I find it accessible and for free at the library. Number two, this is my opinion on the controversy over the recently published book that allegedly touches upon immigration issues uh, at the southern border of the United States. And why do I say my opinion? Uh, because I am just one Latina on book two uh, living in Puerto Rico uh, raised in the United States uh, and who worked and engaged personally, like with personal friends, with many immigrants, documented and undocumented, and their children as an elementary school teacher in New York City. That's the context. And context is important. When I first discovered BookTube, I was in heaven and started binge watching as much as I could. I was on cloud nine. I decided after a while to start a channel because I noticed after a while that everyone looked the same white and read the same, the Western canon in English. I didn't see us, us, on book two at first. By us, I mean people of color, one and two, boomers, people of a certain age. The second prod to starting a channel was the response to the Hurricane Maria tag that I discovered a year after the hurricane. Yeah. I decided to start a booktube channel because we were not visible enough. And I wanted to change that. I wanted to become a drop in that ocean. I wanted to make our presence known. And if someone can please tell me what this new term, fangled term, Latinx means, I have no idea. So explain it down in the comments below. You have no idea how nourishing it is to have discovered other booktubers of color, even though I may only have found them after a booktube controversy and drama about diversity. Yeah, that's how I discovered most of my booktubers of color. Number three. Read up on this controversy, as uh, Olive at the book Olive uh, mentioned uh, during the common read for Just Mercy. Yeah, you have to read up on the controversy and why the controversy and the drama is a thing. Already, People are crying, cancel culture, cancel culture, cancel culture. 
when what is actually happening after I've researched it is that it is calling out, not canceling anything. You can read whatever you want. It's calling out a glaring systemic flaw. I wasn't going to talk about this topic, but reading the comments over at Brian's channel on Bookish, his channel Bookish, I knew I had to weigh in. I have to weigh in. That's how I feel. While the controversy centers around this book, as it rightfully should, I think, it also speaks to something that does not occur in a vacuum. As if it's just this book, just this author, poor author, and just this publishing company, right? And their seven-figure advance and just another Oprah faux pas at this specific moment in United States electoral politics history, an election year. There's a ton of history behind the human rights travesty that is happening right now at the border as I speak. History that has been written about before, even in English, by people who have lived it, but have been rendered and remain invisible and unheard by a system. Thank you, Baruz Bushani, and all the other people who have talked about this many, many times before. This is a great, great opportunity, this controversy, to talk about what's happening at that specific border, although it's also happening around the world, and the multiple intersectional complex origins of that specific human rights issue and address that. It also offers an opportunity to talk about the publishing industry with open eyes and minds, an industry in which people of color are still woefully underrepresented in their workspaces and corporate offices. So, as I've done before, I will link an NPR interview with four Latinx authors about the controversy, including the author herself. I recommend it highly because you hear all sides of the issue, all sides of the drama, and why it is frankly so very important. I'll also link a list of 17 authors besides the American Dirt author that the Texas Observer recommends before reading that book. There's a link also to an open letter to Oprah by many different authors. They started at 82 authors and apparently uh, many more haven't been added. And in that open letter, they state their issues with the book. It has a very measured tone that I realize many people prefer that we people of color use when calling out systemic flaws. And finally, I will also link the Miriam Gurba article that some people find so strident and I frankly find 
very powerful. I can understand people not wanting to deal with rage, right? And people yelling on the internet, reminding us calmly to use persuasion instead of supposed policing. You know what? Even if there had been no rage or no yelling on the internet, people that you think might be persuaded are not. I've seen it happen before, and you've seen it happen before. No amount of voting, protesting, nonviolent civil disobedience has persuaded those in power to stop gerrymandering away our voting rights, hasn't persuaded anybody to pass gun control, hasn't persuaded anybody to protect unarmed black folk walking calmly down the streets, or for that matter, hasn't stopped the United States government from supporting hard and soft coups of democratically elected governments around the world, or to stop it from drone striking innocent people in foreign lands. I'm not going to tell anyone remotely linked to the complex border issues how to express themselves about it. I'm not going to tell any author of color how to respond to the silence and invisibility they've been condemned to by the publishing industry. Listen to that NPR interview. Listen to what Luis Alberto Urrea had to go through before getting his books published. Calling out the bullshit is all they can do. And all I can do is wonder. And this is what I wonder about. I wonder why the seven-figure advance, why her of the Anglo surname. I wonder why now and not when the previous president deported the most immigrants of any preceding president. Why of all the possible books on the same issue and the same topic? Why an Oprah seal of approval now? And to those who say, ah, oh, it's fiction, it's not real, so just chill. It's just about one book, one author. It's not a big deal. Well, that's the point. It's about a whole lot more. The frustration does not occur in a vacuum. There are lots of reasons why people are up in arms about this. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I gotta go. Gotta go to church. See you later, people. Cuídense mucho. Los quiero mucho. Adiós.